Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Alright, today we had a user in an Excel forum named Ash wanted to know uh, I have this data, how can I represent a chart in uh, with this status over here, pass fail by these dates? Posted this on our Friday challenge and had a couple of great answers that I'll show you how to do those answers as well. Here's uh, my take on it. I have uh, pass in green and fail in red. The user Ash wanted this as a line. Just don't know how a line would really represent this so well, so I changed it to a column chart. Uh, let me show you how I went about doing mine, and then we'll get on to the other samples that were submitted as well in the Friday challenge. Okay, first, so you take your data, and what we want to do is we want to create a different charting range. Uh, so this is, we want to do is first is do our dates. So I'm just going to do equals C2. And I want to create a column for pass, and I want to create a column for fail. All right, so our pass column is just going to be a simple equals if statement. We're going to say if D2 is equal to pass, then let's go ahead and put in a 1. Else, let's just put in a not applicable, which is the NA function, and you can learn all about that on my blog. All right, so we have one in there for that one. I'm going to do the same thing for fail. So if D2 equals, quote, fail, in this case, we're going to do a negative one, um, or else we're going to do a not applicable function. All right, so there we have our chart data. We just need to copy it down for all of our rows. And you can see anytime there is a fail, it's a negative one. And anytime there's a pass, it is a positive one. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and chart this range. So I'm going to highlight the range. I'm going to go up to our insert ribbon. We're going to go to our column button in the charting section. And we're going to do a stacked column chart. All right, so here is our column chart. Uh, just shrink this up a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Um, so it's very similar to the chart we have uh, already shown. I'm going to get rid of the vertical axis. I'm going to get rid of these grid lines. And then uh, what I want to do is I want to right click on any one of these and make these green. And I'm going to leave this one here as red. So let's just right click on it. Do format data series. And then I want to change the fill color to a solid fill and I want to choose this green color right there. And then my series options, let's close up this gap a little bit, just make them a little bit wider, and then click on close. And there you can see our pass fail chart. Uh, pretty simple, easy, using an if statement and uh, um, some column charts, stacked column charts, and uh, doing the not applicable function. Now, we had another user uh, by the name of Peter, and Peter <laughs> submitted a really great solution to this as well. Let me show you how he built this one. Similar sort of thing, we want to create another charting range of our dates, and uh, he just had a pass and a fail, very similar. Um, and uh, uh, Okay, so for his pass function, what he did was an equals if and if D2 is pass equals quotes pass. Um, what he did is he did, if it was a pass, it was a 1. If not, he did a not applicable, like I did as well. Um, but you'll see here we've got pass showing up instead of the 1. It's because he created a custom format um, for the number 1. And let's go ahead and do the fail. He did equals uh, if um, D2 is equal to fail, then do a 0, uh, or else do the not applicable. So very similar function to what we had as well. Uh, and let's go ahead and copy this all the way down. And what he did in the number section here is he went and created a custom format for his numbers. So you go to your home ribbon, go to your number section, and instead of general, you want to pick the list and do more number formats at the very bottom. Then in our number formats here, we want to choose custom. And in the type here, he typed in, and I've already got this entered here right now, uh, he typed in pass with quotes, a semicolon, two quotes, another semicolon, and then fail. So what this represents um, is for any positive value, let's do pass. Any negative value, let's just leave it as blank. And any zero value, Let's make that a fail. When you apply those number functions, 
uh, custom number formatting to that uh, area, look at that. All of those zeros and ones are now changed to pass or fail. They're still actually numbers, but you're being displayed as pass or fail. And then what he did is he highlighted this range. He went up to the insert ribbon. He did a line function, a little format to, uh, for a chart, and he did line with markers. All right, so let's get this one over here and shrink this one up a little bit as well because we don't need it to be quite as long. And so um, you can see we've got two different lines. We've got one with one value on August 9th, which is a fail, and we've got one line here all the way that are passed for each date. Now you can see also uh, the beauty of this uh, type of formatting is, see, instead of zero, it's showing fail, and instead of these numbers here, it's just going to show pass. And uh, what we can do is we can modify this so that we get rid of everything um, and just show pa one pass, one fail. And let's go ahead and get rid of this line first by clicking on the line, right clicking on it, do format data series. We are going to do the line color and we're going to do no line. And let's click on close. You should also do that for your <laughs> fail line just in case you actually do get fails in there. Um, and uh, I'm going to get rid of this legend here as well by clicking on it, hitting my delete key. Uh, you'll want to do that, uh, remove the line color fill from your uh, fail as well so that this does not show up when you have other data points. We've only got one, so I'm going to skip that step right now. Um, and then what uh, Peter did is he went up to his insert ribbon, he went to his shapes button, and he chose an X as a shape. You'll see that's right here in equations or shapes. And he just went ahead and inserted this into his chart or in his spreadsheet area. Uh, and then from his format ribbon, he changed the shape fill uh, to a red color and his shape outline to that same red color. And now you've got a red X. And then he also inserted a check mark. A green check mark. I couldn't find one of those. Not sure what Peter used for that, but I'm going to use this. Uh, uh, what is it called here? It is called the half frame. And I'm just going to come out here and insert a half frame and sort of a check mark sort of style. And I'm going to rotate it around and actually flip it, rotate it a little bit more, kind of give it that check mark sort of style. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and fill this shape on our format bar uh, to green and our shape outline to green. And let's just make that a little bit smaller. And so now you see we've got our uh, custom markers here. This is our red X, and I'm going to hit select it and then hit Control C. I'm going to go into my chart, select the fail option, and hit Control V, and there's the X. And then I'm going to hit come out, out of the chart and select the green check mark and hit. Uh, let's rotate that just a little bit more, make it a little bit more check marky. Uh, select it and hit Control C. I'm going to select the line and do Control V. And now you can see we've got our check mark so that you can see when it failed pretty quickly and easily. Now, what we'd want to do is also get rid of it so that we've only got one pass and one fail. Since we have multiple passes, this is probably like 0.5, 1, and 1 1.5. I'm just going to right click on this vertical axis and do Format Axis. And then I'm going to change my maximum to be 1 instead of 1.5. My minimum, I'm going to make sure is still 0. And my major unit, I'm going to change that to being 1 as well. Click on Close. And uh, now you see we've got our pass and fail by dates. I really liked Peter's solution, so I thought I wanted to make sure I share that here. Uh, really ingenious doing some custom markers uh, for uh, the pass and fail with a red X by dates. Just getting rid of the line and replacing those custom markers. So thought this was really cool. Thanks for sharing that with us, Peter. And uh, once again, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel. And also you can see a lot of these other techniques and step-by-step -step tutorials as well as you can download the sample uh, Excel template files from Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Thank you.